the last 10 years, we've been waiting on pins and needles for the latest Avatar movie to come out. And it's here. Avatar The Way of Water has finally given us an excuse to examine the science behind the world of Avatar. What about Pandora? What about the collective consciousness of the Earth? Most people don't realize this, but we live in a world of interconnected creatures, but they're not animals. In Shark Bay, Australia, there's a giant interconnected flowering plant that stretches 180 kilometers and covers 200 square kilometers in area. Pando, the trembling giant, is a 7,000 year old clonal colony of quaking aspen trees with one interconnected root system, occupying 108 acres and weighing in at over 6 million kilograms. The largest organism on the face of the earth is lurking right now unbidden in the forests of Oregon. They weigh anywhere from 7,000 to 30,000 tons, are anywhere from 1,900 to 9,600 years old, and actually covers an area of 8.8 .8 kilometers squared, or 2,200 acres. It's the honey fungus. It's a species of pathogenic fungus right here among us. But there definitely is some kind of connected life on this planet. In the movie Avatar, we upload a human consciousness into an organic avatar. So the question is, how do you upload a consciousness? We can take neural interfaces called deep brain stimulations, electrodes that go directly into the brain to monitor brain waves and the electrical impulses that occur within the brain itself. The hope is that by doing this, we can actually map the human brain pattern, and by doing so, map human consciousness itself. We are quite a far way away from uploading a human consciousness. In Avatar, we upload our consciousness into these organic hosts. Well, somehow you need to create this Frankenstein without a consciousness that's still alive. And I, we're a long ways away from that. However, we've been taking massive strides with things like 3D printing cells and even entire organs. What's the reality of a robot host? Well, Neuralinks have been used to control robotics for quite some time. Monkeys can control robots walking, projected by Wi-Fi across the world, and have actually been able to function and use robotic arms. So the reality of robot hosts for neural linkage is there.